country. I had the opportunity to first meet up with Professor Magoha when he was still the Vice Chancellor at the University of Nairobi. And we had the opportunity to interact a number of times. And by speaking with him, I got to realize that uh, this was a man who was not interested in position, but rather what he could do with position. You know, there's a very big difference. There are people who seek position for the sake of it. But there are those who are in position and are interested in what they can do with that position for the greater good. George Magoha belongs in that category of Kenyan. He was a man who, as I said earlier, would speak his mind. He was a man who did not fear speaking to truth. You may not like what uh, he had to say. You may even disagree with what he had to say. But he would say it. And that, as much as he had great disdain for politicians, that is the mark of a leader. Because a leader leads from the front. Some of the challenges that he had to face were challenges that many would have run away from. Saying this is too difficult, or this is too controversial, or this is going to have a problem. Prof, as I used to call him, never backed down, never shied away. So long as he believed it was the right thing to do. He would lead from the front. He would lead from the front. When I appointed him after his term at the university ended and I appointed him to head the National Examination Council, exactly what uh, Fred said here, we were going through a lot of challenges with exams in this country. And when we met and went through, and I repeat again, leading from the front, Professor took it personally. Professor used to go and ensure where are the exams being printed, supervising it, not sending officers, supervising it himself personally. How are they being packed, supervising it himself personally? How are they being shipped himself? When they land in Kenya, where they are, how they are, until they get to the respective containers. Assigning ministers and PSs and other officers, you are in charge to make sure this container is open, make sure the seal is intact, make sure this is intact, make sure this is intact, to the point that he brought integrity back to our exams. And there is no doubt, and I believe, that when I made him a minister, I made the right choice in putting at the helm of education a man who deserved that position and from there continued to do what he did in addressing the curriculum challenges that we had, in bringing on board a new education system. People may say whatever they want to say. Hiyo ni wataongea, utaona watarudi tu, hapo hapo. They will come back there. Because it was not done to hate this one, to spite that one, to do this one. It was done in the interest of the children of this republic to better prepare them for that future that was rapidly or, or radically different from the future that some of us had to look forward to. 
That is what he was preparing. Kenyans who are able to be up to the challenge of this changing world. And we are grateful to him for that. And we are grateful for his leadership. I think this country has lost not only a great soldier, a great soul, a committed man, but it has also lost a sincere individual, a loyal man, and a person who truly loved what he did. He had no time for the hairy fairy of office. No, him it was a job. You know, there are two types of people. There are people who talk a lot about what they will do and do nothing. And those are many. But there are people who will talk very little, but do a lot and their deeds are seen. Magoha belongs to that class of people who are doers. Very little, talking, but in executing. The deeds are there and will never be wiped out, no matter what anybody may wish or desire. My mama and to your family, he was our colleague, and we worked as a team. We were a team. We were together. And as such, you are also our team members. And with us, you have a family, because we were a family. And we will continue to stand with you. And whatever it is that you may require of us, you can count on us. And we shall be there for you, just as Magoha was there for us and for Kenya. We shall be there for you and your family. May the Almighty God rest this great soul in eternal peace. We shall walk these final days as we prepare to give him a befitting send-off together. And you can count on us to be with you. Na wewe Steve usijali hii watu wanapiga mdomo. Acha wapige bana. Najua mtu ambaye hana kitu kingine ya kufanya lazima apige mdomo. Acha wapige mdomo. Hiyo ni dunia. Sisi tunaendelea na yetu. Mungu awabariki na walinde. Asante sana.